Good morning to you. Our lives are interspersed with many stories. This week, well, a number of challenges happened to us, well, all of us, not only me or Mama V or the rest of, of the crew members, but uh, a number of uh, events. And so we decided to uh, task Patricia Gashu to put together a motivational message on judging people. And so we're telling you this morning that do not judge because no one is the same and we all have different life experiences. It's not my place to judge them or for them to judge me. We should all be accountable for our own lives. Look, sometimes people who don't know you will just judge and really it's only based on their assumptions and what they read into your post on social media, for example, or what they see you do, or how you walk, or perhaps how your mood is, then they draw conclusions. We can discern whether people are doing right or not, but we can't judge their motives. If we saw beyond the surface, we would be much more compassionate and empathetic to people's lives. Never ever judge. Don't be so quick to judge others. You only see what they choose to show you. Because as human beings, we are all not perfect. And we don't live to be perfect. But before you judge anyone, make sure your hands are clean. It said that when you live in a glass house, don't throw stones. I'll take you to the Bible. Jesus said, he that is without sin, throw the first stone. Amen? He, uh, he also said, before you judge, think about where you were before you were saved. Why worry about the speck in another's eye when you have that big lock taken from the forest in Dodoa in your own eyes? As we break for the weekend, I need you to do something, to carry this at the back of your mind, that you will not ever judge anybody. Don't judge them because they all sin differently than you. Because we're all sinners, aren't we? Don't judge. I hope that we'll take this message and uh, we'll come back on Monday and say that uh, we're, 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 we're sticking to that sticking point, that speaking point, that notable point of not judging people. Please get interactive throughout the rest of the next three hours. On Facebook, we have Join News on TV. We also have our Twitter handle, I Join News on TV. And then we, ha we have a channel on YouTube, My Join Online TV. Great, 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 great. We'll bring you a lot more of those messages. But um, we have great discussions this morning, newspapers. We'll look at the reviews, the sports stories. And then we're having a conversation with um, the PR boss for the Ghana Education Service and the Reverend Betty will be here with us. And the agenda, of course, is uh, discussing free SHS, but from the perspective from schools up north and the experiences up north, how we can uh, use all that has happened with how we've treated or perhaps also managed the program up north in terms of the North, Northern Scholarship Program and how we can better make sure we sustain the national program. But uh, we're talking international democracy because today is International Democracy Day. And so we'll be speaking live from the Center for Democratic Go Governance Ghana and we'll be speaking to Dr. Kwejo Asante. We'll be speaking on a number of issues, democracy and, it, uh, and how we're confronted with the current challenges of the time, how we deal with corruption and many other issues at the local government level, the election of DCs for example, uh, how we will be taking the right step or the right decisions in making sure that we, we elect our own DCs. But uh, we'll have a drive-by. We're, we're, we're speaking on the subject of child sexual abuse and so Please make sure also you join us with our conversations. But um, get interactive, join us on TV, uh, on Facebook, and also uh, join us on TV on Twitter.